in Tennessee. We got a big trip coming up doing all the mountain areas and the Smoky Mountains and the Blue Ridge Mountains. We're going to Tennessee, Georgia, uh, North Carolina, Virginia. And yeah, we got my daughter with us. You might remember her from some of my earlier videos. So yeah, we're going down to uh, the Pigeon Forge area. We got a cabin in, well, it's technically Sevierville, but it's like 20 minutes outside of Pigeon Forge and we're going to be going to Dollywood and doing all the roadside stuff there and then after that we're headed down to Chattanooga we're going to check out Rock City Gardens which is something that has been on our bucket list for a long time because the ferry oh, yeah, I'm excited for that. yeah the Fairyland Caverns look amazing like you can't wait to check that out and uh, yeah we're doing some amusement parks I won't tell you what all we're doing because it's always nice to leave a little bit of element of surprise but uh, yeah, we got a lot of amusement parks coming up, tons of roadside attractions. Uh, yeah, we got a pretty long drive down there from Pennsylvania, but we're doing stuff in between on the way down and the way back. And yeah, I mean, it's gonna be an awesome trip. It's what, like nine days total, including today and the day we drive back. So yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Um, Last time we went to Tennessee, we were only there for three days, so this Yeah, is and we, we loved it, like we were, we, we're so disappointed that we had to leave early. Like, yeah. and we, we both said, I remember us saying last time, like, we gotta come back like soon. Cause like, that was one of the best trips we ever did. It's a really nice area. Yeah, we love the mountains down there. So, and we're gonna be checking out a lot of places that none of us have been to. So, so yeah, it's gonna be like one of the best trips that we've done so far, I think. I hope. <laughs> We did have fun in Florida earlier this year. If you haven't seen any of our Florida vlogs, uh, there's a playlist that I have with all of the vlogs up. We're, I'm gonna probably do the vlog, like upload the vlogs from this trip, um, you know, simultaneously with, you know, whatever's left of the vlogs from Florida. There's still probably like 10 more vlogs from Florida. So, so subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell to notified when the new videos drop and yeah I mean there's probably gonna be another good 30 vlogs spread out among this the whole summer from this trip and yeah we probably have other stuff we're gonna be doing in the summer so yeah there's gonna be tons of content coming to the channel this summer so so yeah now we're headed down to uh, White Post Virginia our first stop is gonna be a dinosaur land where are we right now is this um, Abbottstown Yeah, this is a cool place. Every time we go to Gettysburg, we drive through here. In about four miles, at the roundabout, take yeah. the second exit onto Lincoln Way West. This German restaurant, I don't think, I don't, no, I don't think this is open anymore. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. There is a Hoff, there's a Hoff, there's a bunch of German restaurants in Helen, Georgia, which I'm looking forward to. That's like a German themed town in Georgia with a bunch of tourist attractions and everything's uh, German themed and you're probably gonna get a nice German meal and 
after that, we we're headed to uh, Cherokee, North Carolina, and Asheville. And yeah, and then we're gonna be headed home from there. But yeah, there's a lot of different places we're gonna be going to. All really like cool tourist mountain towns with lots of stuff to do and places that none of us have ever been before. So yeah, it's gonna be a really fun trip. Lots of, lots of cool attractions, lots of amusement parks with roller coasters and dark rides and everything. All right, so now we're headed to Dinosaur Land. We got about an hour and a half to get there. We're gonna try to get there at opening. It's, it is Memorial Day today, so if it's not open or the hours are different, then yeah, it's, we're just gonna have to take a miss on it, but which would suck because last, last time we, like on the way home from Tennessee, we tried to get there before they closed and we were like, what, like a half an hour late? We were there before they technically closed, but they stopped letting in the last time So yeah, I mean, I don't know because with Memorial Day, like I don't know if the hours will be different or anything, but yeah, we're trying to get there right at opening because we want to get down to the cabin tonight before it gets dark. Cause it's actually like an hour and a half drive down there from where we are. So yeah, we left at like seven in the morning. We have like maybe three or four little stops along the way. We got on the road in good time. Yeah, I mean, I think we're already doing good time, so. All right, well, I guess we'll potentially see you at Dinosaur Land. I almost called it Dinosaur World, that's the one. Yeah, we'll potentially see you at Dinosaur Land. All right, we just arrived at Dinosaur Land. All right, so this park opened in 1963. It's been here since then. I think it might be the oldest dinosaur park in the country. I'm not positive, but if it's not the oldest, it's one of the oldest. And yeah, they have more than just dinosaurs. There's a big King Kong. There's this big shark over here. There's a big octopus. It's really uh, got that roadside aesthetic and charm about it. We got some old signs over here, original, probably original from the 60s. See, so like also featuring 20 foot King Kong, 90 foot octopus. Then they have these ones out in front here that you can see from the road. I'll get some more shots of that after we come out. All right, so we just bought our tickets. We're about to go in. I guess this goes out into where the shark and the uh, octopus are. Are you happy we're actually getting to do it this time? Yes. <laughs> okay. Final. Uh, the guests and dinosaurs, we do ask you to please refrain from climbing, hanging, oh or sitting on the dinosaurs. Oh, cool. Are not allowed in the park. We thank you for your cooperation. Now get ready to have a roaring good time. Bienvenidos a Dinosaurland. So check out these uh, tree people, guys. <laughs> There's just some like really random stuff here. Like this has nothing to do with dinosaurs, and it's like the first thing you see. They are funny. I love um, the entrances, like the the gates and all the mouths like that. This might be like the haven for. Uh, you know, fiberglass enthusiasts because everything's fiberglass and it's, I think it's all original from 1962. Yeah, it's uh, like yeah. King Kong and stuff. Yeah. Just watch your head. Oh, yeah. oh look at the King Kong. Whoa. Uh, look. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is awesome. So here's the giant octopus. And a really strange looking reptile, dinosaur guy. <laughs> so 
some cactuses. Were there dinosaurs in the desert? <laughs> I guess maybe. And for some reason there's a massive shark and octopus. Oh yeah, you can go into it. Oh yeah, Megalodon. This giant octopus is one of the coolest things here so far. And you got the big letters here. It's kind of remarkable how like you can tell like everything here has been untouched since 1962, right? Yeah. I do feel like I've seen this octopus at many golf courses before, but it was a much smaller version of it. I think like in Myrtle Beach, they had a mini golf course that had a fiberglass octopus that looked a lot like this, but it was probably like half the size. Yeah. Look at the face on that saber tooth tiger. Pteranodon. Yeah. I'm sure they have to like repair these things a lot because people would be like probably like grabbing them and hanging off of them and stuff. There's a woolly mammoth over here. Protoceratops looks like a frog to me. A horned toad or something. Parasaurolophilus. Oh my god, look at this one. Pachycephalus. I always struggle with pronouncing these. Pachy Pachycephalosaurus. Stegosaurus. Moose chops. That's scary. Oh, nice. There's a lot more figures here than I thought there was. Oh my god. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> Titanosaurus versus Tyrannosaurus. Look at the bite big bite mark. Yeah. You can tell they have to like repaint the blood on that like occasionally. Look at the bird, the bird duck on his, uh, coming out of his eye. This one with the pterodactyl on its mouth or pterodon, whatever it is. It's pretty crazy. Well, I didn't notice that one before. Well, this one's that the smaller dinosaurs getting the better of the bigger one in this one. Megalosaurus and Apatosaurus. Another savvy each one. Wow, well, these are awesome. Which one's that? Pack, oh, pack, pack they had one of those back there. It said the same name. Pachycephalosaurus. Yeah, I know, but I kind of like, it's part of the appeal. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I like the like crudeness of it all, right? <laughs> Mo like uh, moss or something. Brachiosaurus. 
it's impressive that there's this many like and they're probably all from 1962 like that goes to show you how durable fiberglass is I mean look at all the muffler men from the 50s that still exist they survived all that weathering and probably been through super high winds and over the years The baby. <laughs> that looks cute. Mm -hmm. Look how long his front legs are. Is this big here? Yeah. They look <laughs> I always thought those were like the scariest ones, the ones that were in the water, like the Loch Ness monster esque ones. Sitica, Sitacasaurus. Looks like a ground sloth. Saltaposuf, Saltaposuchus, Suchus. Polacanthus. Classic Triceratops. Oh, did you? Yeah. I always feel like a dinosaur noob when I come to these places. I'm like, I don't recognize these names. <laughs> and I was into dinosaurs when I was a kid. Oh, look at the giant praying mantis. Oh, the cobra. Yeah, cobras are the scariest animal that exists. I can't believe there's people that, like, are always handling them and stuff. Like... One bite from a venomous cobra can kill you in like 15 minutes. Why is it like that? <laughs> oh, this manis is awesome. Is this thing supposed to be like watching its eggs hatch or something? Yeah, that's so scary. It's, <laughs> it's like the dement, like ostrich the body dimensions of it. Fossil skeleton shows it was eight. Okay, I don't even know what this thing is. Massive beaver. <laughs> this one looks smug. Right? It's got like a smug face. Iguanodon. All right, go up there and sit in King Kong's hand. Make sure it's not wet first. <laughs> oh so here's the, I guess the finale thing is this giant King Kong. You can sit in the hand. Is it dirty? Yeah, just stand next to it, I guess. This thing's awesome. Oh, look, he's got an airplane in his other hand. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is the coolest thing here. <laughs> so cool. That actually kind of looks like the King Kong um, like stop motion figure that they used in the original movie. It was really crude and misshapen like that. Yeah. Look at this ground sloth. <laughs> What was he trying to like eat like ants out of the air, like flying ants? Alright, I'm gonna go up here and get a picture with the King Kong. Oh yeah. Uh yeah, I'm not sit I guess I can make it look like I'm sitting. We got a baby brontosaurus here. Does anyone remember this weird kids movie from the, I think it was late 80s, called ba it's called like Baby the Lost Legend or something like that. I had one of these baby brontosauruses.
And yeah, I guess that that was it. I mean, I'm actually surprised how many like old figures have you know been here that long. Like, yeah. there was maybe what, maybe three or four actual like modern ones. All the rest of them you can tell are from the '60s. So it's kind of crazy. It's weird that this is like a Yeah, I think that's the owners. The owners live in this house. Huh. Would that be awesome to have a roadside attraction in your backyard? You can light it off with, like, a yeah, probably. Oh my god, there's an a another alien dino. <laughs> Alright, now our exit exit through the gift shop. That was awesome. Okay, we got our souvenir last time we stopped here, so. But yeah, that was awesome. Like it's really awesome to see surviving attractions that are that old and still kicking and never changing anything. It's like a time capsule. And all these signs, I'm sure, are original from 1962. And then out here are the ones by the road. It was smart of them to put ones right by the road to attract people here. And these are pretty cool ones. These are some of the bigger ones. You can get some really cool pictures of these ones. You stand right here. So that was awesome to get to finally check out Dinosaur Land. Like we were disappointed last time we went down to Tennessee on the way back, we tried to stop there and we got there too late. So it was awesome to finally get to see it. And yeah, I mean, if you like dinosaur parks, it's probably the best like old one in the country. So, I mean, it's probably the most like untouched, I'm not gonna say well-preserved, but I think that's kind of like part of the charm of it is how crude and like untouched it all is. It's kind of like just like a time capsule from the past. And yeah, I love places like that, obviously. So, so now we're going to be getting on uh, I-81 and we're going to stop at this Johnny Appleseed, fiberglass Johnny Appleseed guy. So we'll see you there. Yeah. 
So we stopped at this uh, abandoned Johnny Appleseed restaurant. It's connected to this Quality Inn. I guess uh, whoever owns the hotel is the one who's keeping it here. But yeah, I think this has been closed for well over a decade or more. And. Um, I know that the Mark Klein, the guy, Mark Klein, the guy who makes a lot of the fiberglass stuff, he has one of them at his Enchanted Castle studio. Yeah, I think this used to talk. I don't know if it still does. Probably not. No. But yeah, he used to press this button and he would talk. You can see the holes where the speaker was. Yeah, this was a chain of, I think, buffets, kind of like Shoney's. This might be the only uh, one of these that's still standing. lunch we stopped at the Wright's Dairy Wright in Stanton, Virginia. This is a really cool classic drive-in. I got curb service here. And I think in the dining room you can like order through like a phone so they got like a and it looks really classic in there. Let's peek in there real quick. Yeah it's a classic classic drive-in. We got the curb service since we're headed down to Tennessee. We want to get down there before it gets dark. So it's probably faster to get cur curb service. And it is Memorial Day, so it's pretty busy. All right, so we just got our burger baskets. We all got a burger basket. This and so good. very reasonably priced. What was it, seven bucks for a burger and fries? Not bad at all. Trin got a milkshake. Oh yeah, and you got a raspberry milkshake. It's Try the milkshake and see if it's good. It's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Best raspberry milkshake. Nice. Does it taste like natural raspberry? Or? Yeah, they have like, I'm pretty sure there's like actual raspberry. In cool. It. It's like, look, there's like nice. the seeds and stuff. So yeah, this is a really cool classic drive-in in Stanton, Virginia. It's so cute inside. And it's like right off of uh, I-81, so if you're heading down to Tennessee or just heading down or up that way, up north, then it's a good place to stop. All right, so that lunch at the Dairy Right, that was one of the best uh, drive-ins I've been to. Really good burgers, some of the best crinkle butt fries I ever had. And yeah, very reasonably priced. And yeah, now we're in the final stretch here. We got four hours, and then we're gonna be getting to Bucky's and some Beerville, and then our cabin's not far from there. So yeah, we did really good time. It's only going on one o'clock now. So yeah, I expect to get, we'll probably get down there at like around 5 o'clock. So yeah, I'll we'll see you at Bucky's.
cookies. Um, yeah, then we're gonna go to our cabin and see if the power is on because we got a message from the Airbnb host that the power was out earlier today. So and they're not sure if it's gonna be back on. In which case we're gonna have to go find a hotel. So we got our fingers crossed that it's back on. Let's just pray and hope that it's back on because I don't feel like having to go back out and find a hotel right now. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is still the largest one. They are building a bigger one in Texas. But this one, was, I, when did this open? Last year, right? Or was it two years ago? Uh, yeah, but it's the largest Bucky's. Well, I hit the right down to the Tennessee town. Stopped at a place that I'd heard was renowned. Bucky's sign was shining bright like a beacon in the lonely night. Inside them walls, oh, what a sight. Rows of snacks and drinks in the soft moonlight. And the All right, so I guess we're going to grab brisket sandwiches here. Anything else you wanted to get? Um, maybe like those, those brisket. Uh, All oh, the almonds? Bucky's there ain't nothing you can't do. Oh, Bucky's, you're a Tennessee treat, a roadside oasis where the weary can be. I'll sing your praises loud and clear to all my friends and kinfolk near. Bucky's, you're a shining star in this awesome world, no matter how far. So if you're ever down in the volunteer state, make a pit stop, don't hesitate. Bucky's got all you need for a weary traveler to be. Inside them walls, oh, what a sight. Rows of snacks and drinks in the soft moonlight. And that fever mascot smiling so wide. Look to me in like a long lost bride. I filled up my tank, got some turkey too. At Bucky's there ain't nothing you can't do. Oh, Bucky's you're a Tennessee treat, a roadside oasis where the weary can be. I'll sing your praises loud and clear to all my friends and kinfolk near. Bucky's your shining star in this lonesome world, no matter how far. So if you're ever down in the volunteer state, make a pit stop, no. don't hesitate. All right, so we just arrived at our cabin here. Um, the, some of the houses on the way in had lights on, so hopefully that's a good sign that the power is on. Oh yeah, I hear. I think I hear the hot, hot tub. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's on because the, the hot tub's on. Looks pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got our living room area here with a fireplace. And Full kitchen. I like the vaulted ceiling with the window up there. Mm -hmm. Here's one of the rooms. Gosh. 
Here's the other rim. Yeah, it's pretty nice. All right, so here's our deck. We got a pretty private cabin. Most of the cabins that we were seeing on the way up here were not right next to each other. This one's secluded, which is nice. Look at this huge hot tub. This is big. Oh, nice. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. They said that they switch out the water with each person. And we got some Adirondack chairs out here and this really cool view here. It's a little bit intimidating because it's probably like, I don't know, like 50, 60 feet up. <laughs> and then it's like a 100 foot uh, cliff over there, like a 100 foot drop down there. It's cool though. I mean, it's it's a little bit scary, but it's cool, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah, true. Or the stairs, maybe. Yeah, you have to go up these steps to get up to the deck. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we'll go unpack.